What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Fishing with Norby, here we are. Day number two, sitting in 15th in the Major League Fishing Tackle Warehouse Invitational on Sam Rayburn. I'm boat number one today. We were 150 yesterday. We caught the biggest bass I've ever weighed in in a tournament. Huge. Go watch yesterday's video, see how it went. Also, go watch practice videos, see what we found, how it led to where we're at now. I've got the whole series on my channel. Go watch it. Appreciate you guys. Subscribe if you haven't. It's going to be fun. We've been sitting with EG and Laker over there. Check out. Video cut out. I don't know what happened. Fishing with Laker and EG today. They're sitting just outside the cut. They need a good bag to move up. They can do it. We need a good bag to move in that top 10. That's what we're going for. We figured something out yesterday. Catching them so good on this right here. Check this out. This is the mock schooler right there. Crushing them on it. It's a prototype in this vid. It just dropped actually uh, March 14th. Available tackle warehouse. And then you have the Valor targeting jig head. That right there. Only available bait works. Both linked down below. Go get you them. That's the combo that I was using. Keep trying to focus on my face. There you go. That's the combo I was using. Caught the 8-4 on. Go watch yesterday's video. Like I said, awesome stuff. Check out these other mock baits real quick, and let's get back to the bid. Go catch them, it's gonna be fun. Here we go. We got a towel for you guys today. Gonna need that. Gonna need that. Take the time to film for y'all. Here we go. Also got a towel for the screen. I'm excited. Start with the old eight pounder bait. Let's see if we can get them on it again. The old mock schooler. Woo! Look at that thing. Don't gel it up. Get on them. It's raining hard earlier. Did not get to be as prepared before takeoff. Wow, a lot of bait out here. Feeling it, not feeling it. Let's go trapping. Mm -hmm. Feeling the trapping bite. Here we go. Here we go. Not very big, but we'll take him. He might be a keeper. Yeah, I think he'll keep. I think he'll keep. Thank you, buddy. 
There we go, measuring them again to start the day. Hmm, he's gonna be real close, actually. Yep, he's a keeper. Number one, made a move, caught one. The old Bubba scale. Number one is one, we'll change it to 100, it's 155. That one's gonna get cold out, but it's a start. another one I love this spot oh that's a good one too that's a good one stay down buddy he's not as big as I thought he was he's bigger than that last one though thank you Lord number two smoked it <laughs> two casts in a row Bubba scale did not even have time to shut off which it does after like a minute or 30 seconds. Number two is one. Wait it. Two oh four. Two oh four. Two pounder. Help you guys out again. There he comes. Got him. Oh, yeah. That one's got some weight. Stay down. Oh, gosh. That one's got some weight. Whatever we got here has some weight. Oh, yeah. That's a lot better one. That's a lot better one. Come on. Come on. Swim right in the net. Whoo Thank you, Lord. Let's go, folks. We did not have any four pounders yesterday. Oh, this one's probably three and a half. Might be four. Let's go. Thank you, Lord. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, be four. 389. <laughs> Let's throw him on the big side. Number three. need to retie but I rigged up the same thing on this rod except I did not have time to thump gel it so rather than retie I'm just gonna put on this mock schooler smoking them folks there we go got two of the same bait on just for this situation in case it happened and it's happening fired up Fired up. Yes, there it is. I don't think he's going to be 14, though. That's a baby. That's a baby. Ooh, he might be. He's got a short little hump back, so I don't think so. Let's see. Nope, 13 and 3 quarters.
tighten my drag a little bit for the big one that's gonna bite this cast. <sighs> Fired up. Oh, missed him. Missed him. Oh, oh. I got hit. This is incredible. Here they come. I broke off. Really? I broke two fish off already today. My goodness. Well, we got a third one rigged up. I don't know why I broke off. Unless a gar ate it. Gar could have eaten it. There he comes. Got him. Oh, that's a big one too. Uh, he's not big, but he's nice. Real nice. They're loaded here. This is awesome. All right. Thank you, Lord. There's number four. Number four real quick. <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm gonna be calling out without even moving. Been on spot lock, that's four keepers in a row. Two twenty-two for number four. We'll call him out later today too. They are stacked right here. <laughs> I'm not even gonna retie yet. We got more fish out there. More we got to catch. Little guy. Just a baby. So fun. Oh, he pulled off. Must have been a little one. Must have been a little one. I broke off again? What is the deal? There has to be like some gar down there. Cause I'm break I broke three off. I don't get that. That shouldn't happen. I got one more on that needs retied. Let's test it. Mm. No, it doesn't need retied, it's strong. All right, let's, let's go back with the first one. That, we didn't want to use because need to retie. There's one. Seems like a decent one. Not too big, but keeper. Keeper on the jerk bait. Look at him come off. Number five. Have not moved. There we go. Weigh him up. All right, he is. 
192. We got 11 and a half pounds already. Time to start calling. We got some big coals. There's another one. I like the jerk bait going a little slower. Feels like a decent one. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Can't turn it too easily. I think I got hooked in the side. Yeah. I don't know if that one's gonna help us much. But, maybe a tiny bit. Maybe a tiny bit. He's going to call out number one, I think. Yeah. 199. First call of the day. 7.45 a.m. Number one, going back. Two casts in a row with the jerk bait. Haven't taken the time to retie those other baits. I was watching them on live scope and when I was jerking it really fast, they didn't want it. Now we're going slower. We got two in a row. Guy. Well, he's not super small. I'm sitting here in one spot catching all these fish. This is nuts. I don't think he's gonna pull. <laughs> Back on the mock school. He might pull. I don't think so. We got a couple 190s. He looks like a 190. got a 192 I think he's about 180 oh shoot 202 pulls number five really all right really not much of a difference but we gotta go for some big ones now we have 12 pounds 12 pounds the Mickey did not get eaten past the the barb there. So I think we're still good. Ooh, there's a big group of them right here. Look fun. Oh yeah. Feels like a better one. Man. We caught that one four pounder. I'm ready for another four pounder. Not a better one. That one's not gonna cold. They hit the big trap. Let's see. They hit the big trap. It's gonna be fun. One, uh, let's sink down to seven feet. Count down on about five seconds. Tapped. There he is, little guy. Dang it. 
was hoping the trap would get a bigger bite. Should get a bigger bite. He's dogging me. Like he's a big one. Gosh. I don't think he's gonna help. We've caught like 15 fish in a row on this spot. This is incredible. Just threw back two in a row before this. What a day. Now we just gotta get that big and something said go trapping this morning. 150. But the good thing is we don't need our measuring board anymore. Another good thing is I feel confident I can catch two pounders anywhere tomorrow on a Domeki. So we'll just burn through all these fish, see if there's a big one. Nothing. All right, time to take a breather, retie all three of our Domeki's, get back down there. Whew. And new baits, new hooks. Might just retie one to be honest. Get back down there quick. Yeah. Already have a hover rig rigged up. Gonna retie that on too. Get back down too. Using these mock schoolers. Look at them. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Fish them as a regular fluke. They're just a little smaller. You can fish them as a Tamiki. Mmm. Look at that. Beautiful. And then, I can't believe how many things I broke off this morning. Makes me wonder if I'd have had a big one. It's so weird. Mox got it all, guys. We got the combos I'm using, we got the baits I'm using. Good stuff, really good stuff. Except breaking off we caught a lot of fish though I didn't retie anything that's my own fault because they swallow these okay while we're at it we're just gonna re-thump gel back up we've been using the crank gel mainly that white blue they follow it and then they eat it Catch some more. Nice one, I think. Get down, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's a big one on a jerk bait. I think it's a big one. Oh, I just got him hooked weird. Ah, shoot. He's going cold. You betcha. He's pushing three. Two and a half. He's gonna call. Definitely. Woo! Come on, be two and a half. Two and three quarters. Let's see what we got. We got a coal of 198. Two, 248. Coal's that last one we caught. Number five. Pulling out number five. There's the coal. I'm trying to keep the screens clear for you guys. It's just pouring today. Big time. Big time pouring. Catch them on that Strike King 300 deep. My favorite jerk bait in crystal shad color. It's money.
a good one. I think it's a good one. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that's a nice one. i break off now, buddy. That one's gonna coal. That one's gonna coal. Should coal. Come on. Yep. That one will coal the last one ninety nine. Looks like he's the three pounder. Close. Close. <laughs> there we go, folks. Almost three. That one's probably two and three quarters. We just gotta run into our giant like we did yesterday. Two eighty-five. Pulls out number one. We have thirteen and a half pounds. There's the coal. The jerk bait is doing work. It's doing work. Seems to be getting a few bigger bites. Look like a big one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Bass are just moving through here. Different sizes. Different shapes. Ooh, he's pulling my drag. That one's gonna help. Well, I thought he was going to help. He'll help a little bit. Not a lot of bit. But a little bit. Man, he choked that. Mmm. He pretty, buddy. Pretty Texas bass. Mm. Oh my gosh, I can't get that hook out. Wow. Isn't that good? Still haven't moved, folks. We are still... Still in the same spot. So, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, this spot right here, I'm gonna put on fish tips after the tournament. Y'all can check it out. We've caught 30 in a row. Fishtips.com, link down below. Posted the day you're seeing this. All right, gonna weigh him. Let's see here. He is two, 252, pulls out number two. We have 14 pounds. See you, number two. Some good coals today. Fish are doing good. 13.95. Sweet. Oh, we should probably retie. like a good one decent decent but not gonna do too much
There he is. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. He's dogging. Yeah, that one's going to help. You betcha. You betcha. On the trap. Thank you, Lord. There we go. Close to three. Let's see what he is. We got a 222 we got to call next. Number four. 273. 273. Let's weigh him again. We got 14 and a half now. Pulls out number four. Oh, number four dropped. Oh, that's three. Where's number four at? Four got off. That's not good. There's the cold. There he is. Another one on the trap. Little guy. Not gonna help. Corn rain. Right there under the boat, real. <laughs> so many fish on everything today. He's got a nasty cut on his side. Poor guy. Got one. There he is. That's a good one too. Oh, on, buddy. There we go. Thank you. Two thirty eight. That's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a big one right there. That'll help. Thank you, Lord. All right. Let's go. Yes. Uh, he's a three. That one will help, folks. All right. Whoo. Colon time. Again, three, three oh six. Coles out number five. Number five, going back. Woo. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right. 
two over three on the right side. Oh gosh, there's the one. That's the one that's gonna help. We gotta go towards it. He's coming up and jump. Oh, come on. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, I hooked him in the noggin. Real weird. Dang. I thought he was gonna be way bigger than that. Wow. He felt bigger than that last one. He might help, but man, he felt like a six or a seven. That's crazy. Oh, he was dogging me so hard. Let's see. Have to be over 252. He might be. It's gonna be real close. Two, 259 pulls out number three no number two pulls out number two another coal folks what a day number two fell off there's number three there's number four there's number two I don't know where number two is. There's number two. <laughs> I was looking at number six. Small coal. That was a coal for maybe an ounce. <laughs> Not much. Man, that dude fought hard. Gosh, I thought that was gonna be the one. All right. We're just gonna retie. We're just gonna retie. I'm gonna fling in this trap for a while now. I'm just gonna cut off a couple feet. All that tension, all these bomb casts with the three quarter ounce. Line could be getting weakened from that, but I don't know. Didn't seem to be. But we're retying anyway. We're getting ready for that seven that's about to bite. Gosh, that dude felt huge. They fight hard here. Man. I caught a seven in practice. Well, upper six and he fought just as hard as that fish that's crazy <sighs> that fish smacked it hard i don't think it's very big Man, he wanted it. Skinny dude. <laughs> Big old head on him. I'm gonna weigh him just to see. He's longer than some we have in there. He's just skinny. I don't think he's gonna be over two and a half. 260 is what needs cold next. He is 212.
digging. Gosh. Digging on a jig. <laughs> That'll work. Thank you, Lord. All right. Digging on a jig. He's cold. I saw a few swimming down there. He's over three. Should be. Should be over three. Easy. He is three, three over three. Cole's out number two. Cool. 15 and a half pounds. All right. And number two came off. There we go. Actually, he was dogging me. He's running fast. Oh, she's fat. He's so fat. Quit it, dude. Hmm, I think he's gonna call. He's so fat, he might be over three. <laughs> he was just running at me so fast. Felt small. Another one on the jiggy. The jiggy poo. He is sure enough 302. He gets rid of number four. Wow. We get we call once more. We got all three pounders. Number four. Come here, buddy. There's the coal. Fifteen eighty. Fifteen eighty. That's cool. I better retie. Build some nicks in there. Throwing the Strike King football finesse jig. Three eighth ounce. The mock crawl on the back. That mock crawl has got the perfect amount of action. Less than a rage crawl, more than like a speed crawl from Zoom. Just the right amount of flap. down there so let's catch a, a third one right here
I don't think. I really like this spot. This is cool. We're gonna start here tomorrow. Yeah, he's not gonna help. Lost my mock curl. Lost my pincher. Let's put another one on. These are prototypes too. They might, they're probably out by the time you're seeing this. Available link down below. They're awesome. Throwing a little chartreuse juice on there. Got that back side, have those ribs. Alright, let's go. Another one? We are catching them now. Wow. Love it. These are all three, close to three pounds. That's a good sign. I don't think he's gonna help, but he's a nice one. Man. I don't think he's gonna beat a 280. Whew. Another one. Let's see. He is 230. Man, as soon as I got that crawl back on there, put that juice on it. Game on. Game on. That's so cool. They're loving it. Okay, little update. We caught about 50 fish today so far. A lot of them on a Demiki this morning, jerk bait. Then we went trapping for about three hours and trying to catch a giant. We did not catch a giant. We have about 16 pounds, I think. Ah, just under. About 15 and three quarters, what the Bubba scale says. All three pounders, one just under and one close to four. So got about an hour left to fish before we gotta head back weigh in we're in first flight today we were boat number one Swimming right at me. I can't even tell how big he is. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Woo! He's over three. Yep, sure enough. <laughs> that's hilarious. Just had to find a little offshore shell spot. Catch him over three, I guess. There you go, folks. Two pounders up shallower. Shell better for the threes he is three sixteen three fifteen places number one another cold
We're getting rid of this one for this one. That's awesome. Every fish we have is over three pounds now, folks. 16 pounds. Let's keep them coming. Let's keep them coming. There's a chance they cancel tomorrow based on the weather forecast. Doesn't look very good. We're gonna retie real quick. If we can just catch a seven, we might have a shot. Moving up to top five, maybe better. We gotta give it all we got. Missed him. I missed him. Not that time. Another three pounder. Wow. Nah, he's not three. He's a nice one though. crazy. I don't even have to weigh that. Wow. Catching them good, folks. Lake is full of three pounders. And this spot is another nice one. Wow, gosh, that's crazy. Another one. Oh gosh, that one felt good too. I don't know why he pulled off. Shoot. <sighs> That's a bummer. Oh, he let it go. They're all two and a half. That's crazy. That one's less. That one's only a pound and a half. We're catching so many fish. My goodness. This lake is awesome. Come on, be over. Oh, he feels heavy. Nope. Somehow hooked that one outside the mouth. That's weird. Nice one. <laughs> Catching so many fish. That's back to back to back to back. 
time to go. Had a good day out there on the water. Have just over 16 pounds is what the Bubba scale said. We're gonna weigh them in. I think I needed 12 to make that top 30 and fish tomorrow. I'm excited because we definitely have over that. Somebody, I heard somebody weighed a 39 pound bag. Let's go check it out. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my god, 38 pounds. That's insane. Dude just had over 38 pounds. That's crazy. We're, we're not going to have 38 with uh, two days. I appreciate that, Kevin. Absolutely, man. Thank you. Yep. You think you got a chance tomorrow? Oh, yeah. We'll see what you got here. Oh, yeah. 16, 8 today, 35 pounds in one ounce. I believe you made. Thank you. What do you think the cut's going to be, Andrew? I think it's going to be right around 30. It was 15, top 30 yesterday. Yep. What's crazy is my two days isn't even as much as that guy's one bag. It's impressive. But God bless y'all. Uh, everything we're doing is going to be on Fishing with Norby on YouTube. What a good day, too. We need to move up. I think we're sitting in 19th. Forgot to shoot an outro. So, we're going to share a little something with you, but what a fun day. We caught so many fish. Figured a little something new out. That mock crawl there at the end. Those are available March 14th, too. My, use my link, Tackle Warehouse, down below. But, I want to tell you about standing. Been playing with the babies, trying to grow their leg strength, holding them up, and they bounce, and they push, and they bounce, and uh, they're getting some leg strength to stand. They're going to be standing before long, but they're also going to fall, and right now they're just kind of going all over the place. They need to have their father holding them up or their mom holding them up so they don't just jump off the couch, but... It really made me think about our walks as believers. When we first come to the Lord, we don't know much about His will, His plan for us, His promises to us, well, what He wants to do with our lives. We, we believe on Jesus and He shares His love with us. And we're like that little baby that's, on, that's jumping, jumping, jumping. We might fall a bunch. We might fall a lot easier than we will as we grow and mature in our walks with the Lord. Uh, we might fall back into sin a lot easier. It's like the baby falling down, falling down. Uh, before long, our babies will be starting to walk on their own, walking on their own. And if they get too far away, we might not be next to them to catch them when they fall. And that, that's like us walking with the Lord. If we start walking down our own path, in our own strength, not relying on Him, 
he might not have his hedge of protection around us to protect us when we fall. Uh, encourage you, stay close to the Lord. Seek Him out every day. Seek Him out. And as we really grow up and become adults, you know, we might fall here and there. We might trip down the stairs. We might sprain our ankle playing basketball and it might take a while to recover. But we get back on the path. We're walking again. We're running again. And as we mature, as believers, we want to fall less and less. So we might get down. Something might get us down. Sin might get us again. But we want it to get us less that is what we want so grow mature don't just drink the milk eat some solid food believe what the word says live by what the word says i want to leave you with a verse jeremiah 6 16 says thus says the lord stand in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where the good way is and walk in it then you will find rest for your souls but they said we will not walk in it don't be the people that rejects what the Lord has to say. Listen, walk in it. Watch His blessings come. Watch His protection come around you. Watch Him give you peace, love, fill you up as you grow in the faith. God bless you guys. Stay tuned. We made day number three. It's going to be fun. See you on the next video. Fishing with Norby.